All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, so uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on... Uh, we're gonna be working on this potion icon that um that uh you see right here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. I'm gonna go to my pencil right over here, make sure it's in shape, and uh we have failed on as you can see. Now I'm just going to zoom in right here and I'm going to trace this shape that you see. So we go there's a curve and we're just going to go right over here and then we can lower the opacity to see right there we go turn this back up let me see all right so right click go to blending options gradient overlay the angle is going to be around here just click on this box double click here and we're going to choose our colors as you can see and now we could add an uh, inner shadow overlay like this right up here and we could add another inner shadow this time it's on black and the angle is down here so we got this it looks good to me um, maybe change the colors a bit, to be honest. So let's go for maybe something a bit more colorful. All right. I think that's good. Make a new layer. We're gonna go to our pencil. Just click right here. Drag, and uh, you wanna hold Alt click on this blue square to reset the curve and uh, you can do that go right here and just up here all right so once you're happy we're gonna double click select the color right click and go into blending options and a shadow on the top like that and another one on the bottom all right we're just going now we just place it right here. Let's, uh, there we go. Now let's create the main uh, area. Let me try to figure out how I want to achieve this effect. So uh, I wanted to work on the blue part first. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my ellipse tool. I'm going to draw out. Oops. There we go. I'm going to draw out a shape like this try to match it as you can see and now I'm going to right click I'm going to blending options gradients overlay click over here and select this color and for the second color we're going to select this and now we're going to go for a we're going to go for a stroke color is going to be this outline as you can see let's make sure it matches all right let's make sure it's matched there we go and now make a new layer when you go to our pencil and uh, we're going to create actually use your ellipse tool and we're going to make a circle like this all right control T to bring up this uh, free transform if you hold shift and alt it will make the scaling proportional as you can see I'm doing so we got that now we're going to make a new layer use our pencil change from shape to path we're going to go right here as you can see and we're going to follow this shape all right and uh there we go now we're just going to go around all right now we're going to hit um we're going to hit shape as you can see change the colors to red remove this ellipse back as you can see 
now we're going to hold control click on the thumbnail of this shape the red one and right click on the ellipse 2 and go to rasterize layer now we're going to hit backspace twice and then control D and hide this and as you can see it made this cut for us which is uh, what we want let's get this down just like that alright let's uh, move this aside alright now that we have this let's go and yeah let's go change the color so double click color overlay choose a similar color let's go with an inner shadow color some black normal choke all the way down distance let's go for back to overlay Let's go for something like this. Alright, and maybe in uh, in a glow. Something like that. Alright, looks good to me. Now we're just going to align these two. Uh, move this behind. There we go. It looks perfect. Now we're going to create this main sphere with the little uh, glow effects. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our ellipse tool, make a new layer, shift and alt as you uh, drag this out. As you can see, we're going to place this right here on top of everything. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off the background. When I hold control, click on this uh, icon. It's going to make a selection now make a new layer and we're going to hide this so now we have the selection we're going to use our brush tool my hardness is all the way down opacity and flow is uh, somewhere halfway now with this I can paint right here I don't know if you can see but uh, just give me a second so we can paint along there we go let's make the background black so we can see Alright, so we have this. Let's uh, scale it properly. Alright. That was good. What else we could do? We could right click, go into blending options, use a bevel and emboss. Maybe. Alright, so copy it again to the top. Drag the FX to the trash can to get rid of the effects. And uh, for this, let me think. Actually make a new layer we're going to copy the sphere again so try to get it as accurate as possible alright so for this I'm going to turn the fill all the way down right click go into blending options and use a bevel and emboss as you can see so for this you want to copy my settings that I have alright and um, oops Alright, we're going to see which one, which contour shape is the best. Let's position it. Alright. Alright, let's put it right here. Or actually, let's go put it right here. Alright, now that we have this, um, this part, very simple, new layer, use your pencil on shape, and uh, you can just trace this very easily. I'm just going to be kind of lazy with it, but turn opacity down, let's go around, oops, alright, so there we go, move this, move this right here. Let's go overlay mode. And uh, for these little sparkles, bubbles, use your ellipse tool. Colors are white. Same thing. Just copy and paste. All over as you wish. Anywhere you want. Take all of these. We're going to group and uh, change these to overlay. And as you can see, we have our finished result. And uh, as you can see, here is our finished potion icon. If this video helps you, make sure to leave a like. 
subscribe and uh, turn on post notifications. I will see you all next time.